And then the next year I did Saturday Night Live. Yeah. And suddenly I thought, oh God, I mean, there was Billy Crystal, who I'd known a little bit, Christopher Guest I'd never met, Harry I knew a little bit, but those guys had just come out with Spinal Tap that summer. So I remember going to the movies and thinking, I can't, I can't compete with these guys. These guys are like the Beatles, you know? Was there the most anxiety like that year of your career in terms of just keeping up with that schedule? Yeah, yeah. It really was, as you said earlier, it is like final exams. I mean, you pump and you pump and you get it out and let's say Saturday night goes great and you go to the party, you feel great, you get phone calls Sunday morning, you feel great, why, thank you. But then around Sunday night and you're watching TV with your wife and maybe there's a baby who's crawling around and you're going, <laughs> Christopher Reeve's coming in tomorrow, I don't, I don't. And then it's Monday and you fake your way through the meeting with the host and now it's Monday night and you're saying, okay, I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing. I feel like the biggest failure in the world and 48 hours before that you felt like I'm a king. And what, was there ever one that, that you were just like, I am going to BS my way through this and put the craziest thing down and see what happens or... I mean, do you remember uh, Andy, time Andy Breckman, very funny writer, and I, uh, Jesse Jackson was the host. Right. And we wrote a piece literally at quarter after six. I had been fascinated by the word moot. I've been using moot that day. So we came up with a piece and where Jackson would say some fact and his answer would be, but the case, but the point is moot. Right. It's all moot. Because, ba 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 ba, and that was the running thing. We put it in, never thinking they would be picked. And of course, Jackson loved it, and it was one of the first pieces that he did on the show. That, that's got to be a great lesson, though, about not being too hard of a self-critic. I think it's huge in most everything. I, I think that, that people really, if, if I give one bit of wisdom to my children, it's just be your biggest fan. And then it may be that sensibility will catch on to others. But just cut yourself some slack and know that you're doing the best you can and you're working as hard as you can. And just be proud of that and stop worrying about, yeah, but I'm not as rich as that guy. <laughs>